eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which watch will I pick today? Welcome back, watch fans. Today, we are unboxing what I think is going to be an Ingersoll. And I only guess that because of the packaging material that um, that this is wrapped in. Uh, I've ordered from this vendor before, and they've used the same packaging. And the only thing I've ordered in the past little while from them has been Ingersolls. So, pretty excited because it's quickly one of my favorite brands. Uh, mostly their quartz and the two watches that i should be expecting should be pretty cool so we'll see yep definitely an anger saw all right let's get this out well let's see what this says in here well you know i'll just find out i'm excited this is going to be great gosh i love their packaging normally i don't like their i don't care about packaging but Man, they make some cool packaging. Look at this. Top of the line. You really feel like you're getting stuff, you know? I mean, this is fancy. It's an experience. It's not just not just a box. Oh, I'm wearing my Heritor automatic. Just thought I'd put that in there. Okay. The true original. Robert Ingersoll. All right, let's see what this one is. Okay, this is either going to be my, oh, I forgot what they're called. Oh, wow. Oh, God, this one's nice. Damn. This, look, this is a nice watch. This is a nice watch. Look at that. This is the Ingersoll, damn, it, forgot the name. I gotta look it up. I think it's called the Scoville or something like that. Ingersoll, Ingersoll Scoville Chronograph. Man, this looks amazing. It looks almost, it's got sort of a hint of uh, Omega Speedmaster. Man, I don't like this. All right, let me take this out. Man, it just keeps, it, this just keeps getting better. God, look at that watch. That's gorgeous. <sighs> Damn it. Another watch I got to keep now. It's killing me. This is interesting, too. This all new packaging stuff. Got a nice watch band. Look at that. Look at this thing. This thing is super awesome. All right. Before I get too crazy, let's watch a quick video about Ingersoll. You know how this goes.
All right, so you saw the video. I've always liked that video. I put it on all my Ingersoll, all my Ingersoll videos. Um, I don't know. I like the music. Kind of gets me inspired. Makes me feel American, even though the watch isn't made in America. But I still like it. So we'll just go real quickly with all the things that come in here. If you haven't seen this, this is a this is a solid plate. You know what? Let me measure this. I always forget how many millimeters it is. Basically, almost. Let's see. One point five millimeters. One point five millimeter thick. Uh, pewter, it says uh, authenticity card. Kind of cool, put that right there, off to the side. Um, even this thing is heavy. It's got like some metal band in there. It's silica gel, of course, I'm not gonna eat it. Nobody ever eats that stuff. I guess they just wanna be sure. Good manual, uh, it's got literally every, every version of every watch that they've ever had. Um, talks about the warranty, this is everything. This is, a, this is the do-all manual. And this, by the way, this is a really nice case. This is actually made of wood. This isn't some fake plastic. This is, it's actually, it's actual wood. Um, it's really nice and that's burned in there. So they really took some time. This watch, I am, ah, God, I've been looking at this one for a while. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, I'll put up right there on the right. I don't remember what I paid, but I think it was more than I really care to, but this was a really gorgeous watch. Uh, I think it was something like, I don't know, 80 something dollars, but you'll see up there on, right up there on the right, I'll put a little eBay logo, where's my finger, right up there, so you'll see how much, how much it costs, um, gosh, man, this is good, look at that, this is, oh, this is glass, this is mineral crystal, look at that, it's domed, and it's mineral crystal, this, oh, gosh, man, this is so excited, damn, this watch is good. So glad I got this watch. I'm gonna get this thing off. This is gonna kill me. It's gonna take up like all the video. All right, this watch. Just look at that face. It's not just a face a mother could love. This anyone would love this. Does this thing work? Look at that and feel. This works so well. I wonder how many clicks that is. That's supposed to mean something. Like 120 clicks is supposed to be like good. I'm not gonna count them. Yeah, I will. I'll count them later and then I'll post it right up here at the bottom. You can see it. And I'll be like, yep, that's got so and so clicks. I'm not gonna do it now. No way. Oh, is that? Tell me, is it? Yes. Oh, a screw down crown. Oh my God, I love this watch. Totally love this watch. I don't even know what to say. This should have been like the first watch I bought. Oh man, this feels like amazing. I, this is going to turn into like a really inappropriate show for, for kids. I should put a warning right now. God, this watch is great. Wait, I noticed it's not running. Oh, it's because it's... Damn it. Oh no, it's good. Okay, I thought, oh, it's dead now. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Look at that, that action. This is spectacular. I'm never going to need another watch in my life. This is this is like so amazing. Okay, I'm losing it. You know what? Let's do a quick video about the movement. And uh, I'll try and regain my composure. The Ingersoll Scoville uses the Citizen Myota 6S20 high quality, no jewel Japanese made chronograph movement. The 6S20 movement is produced by Citizen's Myota Movement Manufacturing Branch in Japan. Myota is a Japanese movement manufacturer that's part of the Citizen Group of Companies. The Citizen Group's movement brand, which was launched in 1959, now produces some 100 million calibers per year in its various factories, most of these being quartz. Saku in Nagano province is the group's largest facility and is where the 6S line of movements is produced. The Citizen Group is highly integrated and is also a major player in the manufacture of machine tools and CNCs, which it supplies internationally. Even the oils used in the machines is homemade product. The integration allows Citizen Group to support the highest standard of quality, able to quickly detect problems and defects on assembly lines. At regular intervals, an alarm sounds and components are discarded down a separate track. The 6S20 utilizes a small second hand at the 6 o'clock location with a large second hand as the 60 second chronograph timer. There is also a 1 20th second chronograph counter at the 3 o'clock position and a 60 minute counter at the 9 o'clock location. Power is supplied by an SR927W silver oxide battery, 
with an estimated battery life of four years with general use and one hour of chronograph usage per day. Battery consumption can be minimized by enabling the hacking feature with battery life extended by up to eight years. All right, guys, so now you've seen the movement video and you know that this has got a, uh, a really dis decent Citizen Myota movement in it. Um, I can't say enough. This is probably one of, if not the best, Ingersoll I've, I've reviewed. Um, this watch is spectacular. The look uh, clearly is sort of a, a play on the... I just said it earlier, the Omega Speedmaster. Um, really nice watch. It has good size to it. You know what? I have, I can tell you right now how much that thing weighs. Let's see, I got this little thing a while back. Let's see. About 3.3 OZT. What does that mean? To DW. Okay, whatever. All right. So maybe maybe that means something to somebody. I gotta figure out what those are. Can't tell if that's metric or not. But this is a solid, solid case. It it has clearly been machined out of a solid piece of uh, 316 billet. Um, the the trailing edges have been polished. The rest have been brushed. Uh, the back, very nice case. It is a 100 meter uh, water resist. So as you guys know, that is quarter length of a, of a uh, well, it's really, it's the length of a football field, um, quarter length of a high school track. Um, surprisingly, even though it's only 100 meters, it has a screw in crown, which I am super impressed with. I mean, that was not at all expected. This, this was, uh, really surprising. Um, such a such an excellent uh, um, feature to have on something like this. Uh, I love the chronograph movement here. This is this is spectacular. I mean, just look at that. It just it runs smooth. It's just like the other the other one that I had that actually had a uh, I believe it had a Japanese move, but maybe it was actually this too. I, I can't remember. I got to look. Um, really solid solid watch strap. I mean, look at the thickness of that. It's just like the. Uh, the one that I got for my watch game, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, the look is spectacular. It is a domed crystal. Uh, last time I looked, these were all sapphire coated. So that's still pretty decent. Um, decent enough. It's signed um, on the on the buckle, signed in the back. And usually they're signed here, but not, not this time. I guess they're trying to keep it classy. Uh, but gosh, you know, this, this is definitely hands down... If anyone is considering getting an Ingersoll at all, this is one of the ones you should look for. The Ingersoll Scoville. I mean, this is just, this is a spectacular watch. Um, you know, and, and let me just kind of, I'll put it on so I can kind of give an idea of what what it looks like. I'm, again, I'm, I'm six foot, I'm six foot three, about 220 pounds on a bad day, 210 on a good day. Um, this thing is a thick watch strap. This this fits my wrist well. Um, I'm I'm a fairly thin guy, um, moderately built, and this this fits well. It's a tough strap, definitely. I will say it's going to have to take some breaking in, but, but what a wonderful watch! Um, gosh, this is such a great watch. I am so impressed with this. I cannot recommend this watch enough. I absolutely love it. It's got an excellent movement in it. This is spectacular. So once again, um, if you like this video, and I'm so glad that this is one of the ones I just picked randomly, um, please hit the like. If you hate this video, please hit the like also and just really show me how much you hate it. Um, if there's a watch, any watch recommendations you have, please leave them in the comments below. And I really, really appreciate your subscribe. It makes it worth it to me because it improves, um, it improves the channel. It, uh, it gives me more viewership, and it just makes it more worthwhile. I don't make any money. Uh, this is just all for fun. But uh, nobody likes talking to a wall. So please subscribe. Thank you very much.